Hey, so this is a very quick tip on Slack uh, to help uh, communication in Slack, basically. Um, and it's kind of related to writing whole messages and threads. So this is a message here that um, has got like a bit of an introductory preamble. It's quite a good message, right? Because uh, it's, it's not multiple messages. Um, it's not been it's not been split over a thousand different messages. And, and it, this is all kind of one thought, right? <clears throat> Which means that people can react to this uh you know, as, as one, as one thing, um, which is usually a good thing for most messages where you've got multiple lines. But in this case, um, we've got like four bullet points and the, the, the author's asking like, are there any thoughts on these bullet points? Now, <clears throat> sometimes this is fine, right? And this is the best thing to do. And if people want to put their thoughts on, they can, they can kind of drop a, a comment in a thread un underneath here. Um, but a lot of the time, especially on really long messages, you kind of want to be able to react to the, to these separately. I want to be able to thread under each of these, especially if, if I know that each of these is likely to spark a conversation um, or, or they're kind of separated out and they're different things. So to do that, it's sometimes a good idea to, to not do all of this as a message, as one message, and to split it up into separate messages so that people can react and, and thread under them. Um, and, and I guess looking at it, the, the most sensible way to do that would be to take all this first bit here, make that one message, and then make this another message, and then make each bullet point a separate one, basically. So if I wanted to do that, uh, I've got it on the clipboard here. Um, I would want to, uh, where do I want to go to? I'd want to do this bit up to here, send that as one message. Then I'd want to do my next bullet point as another message. The next bullet point is another one. And the last bullet point as its own message. And what this means is that, that people can react on each of these separately, um, which is sometimes really useful. Uh, but crucially, if, if I want to comment under this bullet point here, uh, I, I can come in here and drop a, a thread on there. Um, and this is really useful um, for certain messages, certain long things. Um, I still think the default should generally be to write whole messages where there's one thought. But if you know that you, people are going to want to thread under different bits of a message, just think a bit about how you want to split it up. Um, yeah.